Well, hello, planet Earth. I am coming to you today to make a review on this little device here, which is a Simmons Optics 4 megapixel trail camera. It's called the Simmons White Tail 4 megapixel trail camera or game camera. And uh, it has a really good size. It's not really big like the other ones. It will do still photos and it'll do video. It has the infrared LEDs. This is what it looks like on the inside. And I'm going to do the rest of the review um, using this camera. So you won't see this in my hands. I'll just be talking and using this. So we'll do a review with it in uh, normal light and then a review with it in the infrared mode. So be right back. Here's what the full color video looks like when you have adequate light for the camera to be able to capture video. This is indoor, so it's not as sharp as it would be if we were outdoors, but it gives you a good example of what it would be like with well, the color video side of it. And uh, it stays pretty sharp, as sharp as a 4 megapixel camera can, up close and out behind it. But this is an example of its color video capability. Okay, here I am in my closet. The infrared has just been activated. I probably look pretty blown out right now, and that's because the LEDs are very powerful, so they're much better for filming a distance than they are for filming close up. When the LEDs are activated, there's a slight red glow around them, so they're not completely invisible. Now I'm going to show you how it is. I've, I put a little modification diffuser lens, and I'll show you how that works for close up. Okay, you're going to notice a difference, and that's because I have taped a double thick layer of plastic. Um, it's a hazy kind of plastic, and it's from an Ovaltine uh, chocolate container for uh, Ovaltine chocolate milk. But this is what I've decided to use because most of what I want to film will be very close up, you know, within 10 feet of the camera. And without that, uh, it would be very intense and the light would uh, kind of blow out everything that was up close. Like I say, I'm trying to film owls and so I'm not interested in getting things at a distance, but this should be able to get things up to 30 feet, it says, without the diffuser. So that's the modification I made. Well, you've seen the examples of the color in the infrared video. Uh, both for this Simmons trail cam. I mentioned in the infrared uh, comparisons that I had made a little diffuser. This is what it looks like. It's just cut out of an Ovaltine container and it's double thick in the middle. And really the way that I was using that is I would just take it like this and then just tape it right to the front. It would work fine to get closer subjects. Now, I've been using this for screech owl observation. I have an owl box in the front yard. And I am starting to think that for smaller animals, that the motion um, detector is not as sensitive as it should be to get them. It, it still is a great camera for the money but I think that it doesn't pick up smaller animals as well. But this is a tricky thing because the more sensitive that the motion sensor is, the more it will pick up, you know, the breeze blowing leaves and things like that. So uh, it's kind of a trade-off. Uh, but all in all, I would say this for the money is just a great little device for all kinds of fun little projects. You just set it and let it go something goes in front of it day or night it'll pick it up I haven't reviewed the picture taking ability of it because I'm not really that interested in the pictures I'm more interested in the motion video I'm going to end this review with a little clip one of the only ones I've gotten so far of the owl coming out of the owl box so that is what you're going to see right now